Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel and today is the first day of my new show, Waking Up With Richie. So grab a coffee and let's get into coffee and current events. Okay, so I picked three events today that, ha that are happening in the world and let's talk about the first one. So a California woman was recently gored by a bison after getting within 10 feet multiple times to take a selfie at Yellowstone National Park. So Yellowstone National Park is full of tons of wild animals and grizzly bears and wolves, bison, mountain lions. I think that's the one place where you should know to stay safe my heart goes out to this woman's family, but, you know, she, uh, from the reports, she came within 10 feet of a wild bison, which are absolutely massive, multiple times after others were warning her, she continued to try to get the best picture that she could, and I guess, you know, one wrong move, and she was charged by the bison. So it turned out that she was 72 years old. So the woman sustained multiple wounds and she was soon flown to Eastern Idaho Medical Center. So I hope she's doing okay. There's no word on her condition at the moment, but you know. So I hope this woman makes a speedy recovery. My heart goes out to her and her family. What a terrible thing to go through, especially when you're just trying to get out and see the natural world and get some fresh air. It sucks. So the next current event that I found explained how some universities have already announced that they will be only allowing online classes for the fall semester of 2020. Schools like Harvard University, UCLA, and UC Berkeley, as well as other University of California schools have already announced that online classes are the only class type that will be offered in the fall. I feel really bad for all of the students that are getting ready to go into college because they're not going to be able to experience the, your typical college experience and being a freshman in college definitely sets the tone for school. It sets your tone for how you feel about it and if you like it, if you don't like it, if you like your school, if you want to change schools, if you don't want to get out of school. So I hope those students can still enjoy their college experience despite everything that we're going through right now. It's still going to be exciting and it's a pivotal moment in someone's life. Okay, so the third current event that I have found is pretty cool and I think that you guys are going to be pretty interested in this, but it's not very surprising. So, Kim Kardashian recently sold 20% of her company, KKW Beauty, to Coty, which is the same brand that her sister, Kylie Jenner, sold her company, Kylie Cosmetics, last year, making her a billionaire. So, she sold 20% of KKW for $200 million. Kanye recently tweeted that he was excited and happy, and he referred to her as a billionaire. Although, although, her net worth is still only valued at $900 million. So, she's still got a little bit to go but she's not far off by any means. I still wouldn't call her a billionaire though if she's not worth a billion. You know what I mean? I think that's the same problem that Forbes ran into with Kylie. So Cody, the brand Coty owns 51% of Kylie Cosmetics and now they own 20% of KKW. So Cody and the Kardashians must be besties because they can't seem to stay away from each other. But that is a great business move, especially in the times that we're in right now. And um, yeah, congrats, Kim. Okay, guys, well, that was three current events that I found that I thought you guys would be interested in. Let me know what you think about all of them down below, if you have anything to say. So now we're gonna move over to breakfast time. Let's head over to the kitchen. Okay guys, so 
This morning I'm going to be making a simple breakfast and I have a lot to do this morning and I want to make sure that I'm not bloated and just super full or stuffed. So, this morning I'm having a bagel with cream cheese and then I'm going to have some Greek yogurt with granola and some fruit on the side. So today's fruit is going to be raspberries and cantaloupe. So it sounds like a pretty good breakfast. I'll show you guys the aftermath. So a lot of times I like to make my omelets or some breakfast sausage, but this morning I'm feeling like something simple, easy, light, and quick. So this will just be a nice, easy breakfast. And this is a great idea if you're on the go, if you have a labor-intensive job, so it's not good to eat a lot when you do a labor-intensive job, in the morning at least, because it'll make you tired. You know, your body exerts energy while you're trying to break down food and metabolize food. So that actually exerts a lot of energy from your body and you can become tired from that. That's the same reason that a lot of people tend to get tired around 2 p.m. on a normal workday because they've either had too much for lunch or not enough. You gotta find like that perfect in the middle area. I like to have orange juice every morning because it's a great source of vitamin C and I find that it wakes me up and kind of gets my body going a little bit. Sometimes even better than coffee. Well here's my breakfast and I just wanted to share a little story about the raspberries. I love raspberries, I always have and I actually, I grew up in a place where tons of raspberries grew rampantly, even just on the side of the road. So I remember every morning going to summer camp and my babysitter would stop on the side of the road and I'd run out and grab as many raspberries as I could and I'd give her some and I'd take some. So I love raspberries. I'm going to eat my breakfast guys and we're going to get into the activity. So I'll see you in the next scene. Hey guys, so we're back, and this is my office. Welcome to my office, what do you think? So today's activity is going to be an abstract painting. So I'm gonna be filming this process, and then when I'm finished with the painting, because I will finish, I will have this painting for sale. So if you're interested in this painting once we're finished with it, you can go ahead and send me an email, and we can work out the details from there. So let's do it. Today we're going to be using just some basic colors. I don't want to mess around with making any pigments, so we're going to just use what we have. I saw a really cool painting, an abstract painting, that was just black and yellow and with a white canvas as the background, and I thought it looked really cool. So let's get into that. Here is what I'm going to be using today. This is my paint roller. I just bought this. I've never used it before, but I'm eager to use it. So we might use this today, we might not. And then these are my favorite tools to use, my spatulas. So these are gonna be our main tools for creating our painting today. So first we're gonna start with some black. We're gonna go right onto the canvas. This is a pre-primed canvas, by the way, so I don't need to paint over it or or put a coat on it. So let's just, I don't like to think about it too much because I get stuck in my head, so I'm just gonna go where I think it looks right. We're gonna do like a circle design. Okay. That looks pretty good. Then, I'm gonna put some yellow into here. Looks like I'm running a little low on my yellow. Well, there's only gonna be hints of yellow. Just some hints, some subtle hints. This 
is what it looks like. We're going to take our small spatula and get into it. Now this can get messy, so you want to keep a paper towel or, or a couple near you, so you don't make a mess. Now you don't want it to be one-sided, so try to just, you know, find different angles to work by, because that makes it more dimensional. Okay guys, well, I think this is it. I'm really happy with how this looks. I think it looks really cool. Now, this isn't completely finished. I still want to put a clear coat on it once it's all dried, but as you can see, it's got some texture. It's going to look really cool once it's dried. And um, I think I'm going to call this the eye, because it resembles an eye to me. What do you guys think? Okay guys, well this is the eye. And this will be for sale on my Just For Fans store. And if you're interested in it, you can check out my Just For Fans store. Or you can send me an email. Okay guys, well, that's the last of my show this morning. And I really hope you enjoyed it. This is Waking Up With Richie. I will be back on here tomorrow and I'll have a whole new video. So I hope to see you guys there. Let me know what you think about this painting and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.